Oh my gosh, Justin Timberlake! Just overcome with emotion already, just because that's where um, the firefighters um, that were first on scene were. <laughs> Things are getting crazy! Are you the youngest standing baby in the world? <laughs> the world record? Nope, this is what we vlog. <laughs> I was getting the camera out because she was starting to laugh. And she just spit up. Are you staring at me or are you staring at the YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. Oh, back to daddy. It's a wonder we don't make our kids crazy with all the things we do, all these sounds. Oh. What do you think? Oh my gosh, Justin Timberlake. Behind you. Oh, me? There he is. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wish. Are you wish. clickbaiting me? Clickbaiting he me? owns this place. What is this place? Southern Hospitality. Because this, this person place? got us lost to where we were supposed to go. What? Oh, but so that's not apparently not this, this guy knows how to get somewhere. Oh, and Colby's working at breakfast because he don't know how to stop. We're in New York City! We're headed to Sarah. Right there, Zara. There's a door right here. This guy's trying to tell me how to navigate, but he doesn't know. Uh, excuse me, you just got us lost where we went six blocks out of the way. Hey, but look, we're found at Zara. You know what I'm excited about? Is the kids section at Zara. Utah is actually getting a Zara. It's already built in Fashion Place Mall. Comment down below if you like Zara, if you live in Utah, and you're excited about Zara coming. But look at these. Kids clothes everywhere. Everywhere. Massive, massive kid section. So, being on maternity leave, we don't get to shop all the time. But when you're in Zara at New York City and there's knee highs and a sweater dress, for this cute girl, you make an exception. We found these cute knee high socks. There's like a little bear, a little kitten. And I thought she could wear it with this dress. It's like little ruffles and long sleeve and warm and it's got these super cute bloomers underneath. We found him. He's over here trying to get the vlog uploaded. Hey guys, we took a break from shopping and we went to a place called Joe and the Juice. How is it? So good. So good? Emily's loving it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I got passion fruit, strawberry, I can't remember everything that was in the stress, stress down is what it's called. Stress down. I stressed way too much. Right? It's true. It I always true. love them anyways. It's the happy girl. Officially learned to bite her nails off instead of use the metal nail clippers so that doesn't happen again. All of these perfectly clipped just fine. I really am a good mom. <laughs> you guys all look the same. Triplets. Triplets. What's happening? Are you cold? Cass has decided to get in Emily's jacket. I've got a jacket now. Here we go. Bring them all over again. Right, Coco! <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Face one. Like our Eskimo faces? Do your cold burr face. <laughs> it is so cold, but we're matching. We look like Eskimos. It's fine. That's what you do in New York City. But right now we're going to Shake Shack. If anybody's had that, leave in the comments below because it's amazing. I had it in Dallas and I was there um, catching babies and we took a break and went to Shake Shack and it's really good burgers and shakes. You'll I've love never it. been there. But You're going to love it. At least I hope it's the same thing I'm thinking of. Stay tuned to find like out. <laughs> <laughs> Look who we have. Everyone's pumped because we made it to the Shake Shack. Oh. Here's the leftovers of our Shake Shack right here. 
all gone. This is the thousand extra calories you need when you're breastfeeding. All gone. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> Hannah needs it too. Andrew needs his breastfeeding calories. Colby had his. <laughs> He's about to change a diaper, but he won't do it on his lap. Where are you gonna change? <laughs> what? I'm gonna change it right here. Babe, show me. Oh. Look at her little uh -huh. outfit. We got her right, Colby. Can I show you what she did? This is my face. When you pick her up. <laughs> buildings and then right across the street ladder 10 I think that's the first firefighters that responded and they had a truck leaving and everybody it just stopped the whole city and the whole city was taking pictures and video and just overcome with emotion already just because that's where um, the firefighters um, that were first on scene were and they're still working yeah. this day. What do you think? It's crazy. It's really pretty though looking at it. It's huge. I know. I don't think the video does it justice how big it is, but you just walk up to the memorial and you see so many people just taking a moment to remember the, the victims and the people. Um, and the entire memorial has the names of those that were killed in the And um, it's massive. There's just so many names. I think that's where it hits. But it was a lot of people, but it's still so personal with two. Um, the individual's name written on the memorial itself. So we're going to take a moment and be respectful to those around us, but I just wanted to show you all a glimpse of where we're at. So, like I just told Colby, I'm going to get a little midwifey on you guys. Anyone that knows me knows that I have an obsession with trees or the tree of life. And um, without going too much into detail, in um, the birthing world, the tree of life represents um, kind of a network of veins that gives life to your baby. That just reminds me of um, creation and um, basically how God's created everything down to the smallest um, cell in our bodies. Just wanted to sh tell you kind of that backstory so I can show you this tree um, that's at the World Trade Center Memorial. Um, we just talked to one of the tour guides who explained this tree um, was burnt down to the stump. It was the only thing of life remaining in the wreckage and they took it to a nursery in the Bronx, had it restored. She's also survived um, Hurricane Sandy with the waters. And if you look around, all the other trees' um, leaves are dead. Um, but this tree still remains colorful and beautiful. We just got out of the museum and I know I look like an Eskimo so it might be hard to take me serious, but I wanted to give an update on um, the museum and what we saw. It was incredible. It was seriously the best museum I think I've ever been to. And I'm so glad because the, the victims and their families deserve nothing less. The most chilling part for me was the tree that I talked about earlier. And even inside, you can pick up a phone and hear an actual call from one of the passengers on the plane to his wife. Um, just telling him that the plane had been hijacked. And it's just super, super um, humbling and sobering that things can change in an instant. I'm just so glad that we were able to go and see that it was a once in a lifetime experience. Leave in the comments if you know someone affected by 9-11. We'd love to pray for you, love to think about you and your family member, friend, whoever it was that you know. Cass, is that a zombie cemetery right there? Yeah. There's zombies in that? Is Nightmare Before Christmas in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh in there. So they're ghosts and then they turn into what? Zombies and then they're back into a grave. That's, That's creepy. creepy. And then skeletons. Watch. I mean, a zombie comes after a skeleton. 
I mean, a ghost comes after a skull. I mean, a grave comes after a ghost. A ghost comes after a zombie. A zombie comes after a skull and then grave. That's crazy. <gasps> Where's the baby? They pulled down. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's right there. Did you lose your time? We found her, the Eskimo Club. <laughs> so every night. Oh, God. Oh, God. All night. Oh, God. Cass. Caspian. Cass. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting crazy! Are you the youngest standing so baby in the world? Did you beat the world record? Looks like she's on stilts, like trying to. <laughs> With that little collar on her neck, it's like a little circus act. <laughs> Those are some nice moves. What's up guys? What are you gonna do right now? You go subscribe to this channel. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Boom!